Good morning, everybody. This is Melanie with Lost and Found, and I want to do a little demo for you guys today. Um, I have been working on this piece lately. Uh, I know it's kind of hard to see, but it is a lovely oak little three-drawer chest. These are my favorite, favorite pieces to paint. Um, I've got it painted in a base coat of Miss Mustard Seed Milk Paint in the color Marzipan, which is a really pretty um, soft almond uh, kind of taupe color. And what I'm doing today is I'm adding some hand-painted designs to the front of this piece. So um, let me hold it back a little bit. You can see there. That's where I've gotten started. Um, now, I really like adding hand-painted designs to pieces. Um, especially when I'm working with a piece like this one that doesn't have a lot of decorative molding or trim work on it. Um, it's basically flat, as you can see. And a lot of times, once you paint those pieces, in my opinion, um, they can just start to look a little flat, a little bit uninteresting. Um, when you paint, you take away all that texture of the wood grain. Hi, Mom. Um, and so adding some hand-painted designs is just a way to... I think take your piece from just kind of blah to something really special. Um, you may wonder too why I don't just use a stencil. Um, I'm not opposed to stencils. There are a lot of things that I can't paint that I will use a stencil for, but these designs that I paint on my pieces are so easy that I don't need a stencil. Um, and I promise you, I am not an artist. I cannot draw or paint anything else um, in my normal life. My kids know that I cannot draw. If they want an animal or a picture of something, they go to my husband, they don't come to me. So I really am not an artist. I don't think that this takes a lot of artistic ability to pull this off. Um, the painting that we're doing is just a series of lines and um, short comma strokes and dots. That's all it is. So um, I saves me money not having to buy a stencil. Um, and also, if I hand paint, then I get complete control over what my piece is going to look like, which I like. So um, I'm going to do a little demo. I'm going to walk you through a few tips. And then I actually have a post that I wrote a couple years ago on my blog that I will link to this video once we're all done. That goes through some other really practical tips. And um, I'll tell you, there's been a few folks that have read that post and um, have started doing some hand painting and have confirmed that it is just as easy as I tell you that it is. So um, let me bring you over here. I don't know if you can you see the green a little bit on the furniture. I have chalked out a design. Um, that's kind of the first step is you want to take a piece of chalk and draw, go ahead and draw your design out on your furniture. No big deal. The chalk can just wipe off when you're done with it. So I've taken that step and then um, I am using a tiny artist brush. That's my next tip is you want to use the smallest brush that you can find. Brushes flatten out when you paint. So um, even if you're painting bigger things, use the smallest brush that you can find. And then for my paint, I'm just using some white acrylic craft paint, nothing fancy. Um, you can also keep a wet rag near you if you make a mistake and you want to go wipe it off. Again, don't be afraid of making mistakes. Don't not try something because you're afraid of ruining it. If I mess it up, I can wipe it off and sand and just repaint that area. It's no big deal. So um, I've already started this down here. And it's basically just a design of some flowers and some vines. It's kind of a, it's a design that I've done before. And I'm going to hook you up here to my tripod and I'm going to start working on this just to show you just how easy it is. Okay, so bear with me while I get you hooked up. Excuse my arm. All right, I hope everybody can see. Give me a thumbs up. If you can see this and you can see this area right here and you're watching, give me a little thumbs up so that I know before I get started, okay? Um, all right, there we go. There's a thumbs up, thank you. So. I'm getting a little bit of paint on my brush, not a ton, and I'm going to start first with my line that I've chalked in. Here's another tip. Move your hand fast. This, if you try to go super slow and stay on that line, it's going to get shaky. And so don't be afraid. Just, you know, we're just making some strokes. So I'm going to start and I'm going to, oops, I don't even really have enough, enough paint. I'm going to get some more paint. 
I'm going to start do my basic line just all the way down. I promise you this does not have to look perfect to look good. Once it's all finished, it looks great. Okay, so there's my one, my main line. I'm going to add this other line that goes up here. And then I've got a line right here that's going to come down. See, I'm just moving my brush quickly. You can go back in later. I've got one more line right here that I've drawn in that I'm going to add out right here. Smooth those in. Okay. There's my line. See, it's super, super easy. So now I'm going to work on my flowers. I'm going to do a flower design. So a flower is just a series of some comma, some little comma strokes, one here and one here. So easy. I'm going to start kind of on the outside with, with what would be like the back petals, and then I'm going to layer another level on top. So let's start right here. Okay, that's my first petal. Was that hard? Not at all. Okay, that's my second petal. And we're just going to keep going around like that. Getting a little more paint on my brush. Oh, there's my new kitty cat. Do you guys hear her meowing? We got a new kitten a few days ago. I don't know why. But we did. <laughs> we got suckered in to a new kitten. She's going to wander over. I don't know if you guys, can anybody see her? She's down here. Nope, you can't see her. She's so curious. Okay, so there's my back layer of flowers. And then I'm just going to go, I'm going to go in and add just a second layer here in the front. Again, just these same back and forth comma strokes. Nothing fancy. I'm going to make this even a little bit bigger, so I'm going to go add a few more back over here. The more you kind of layer these on top, the more authentic it really starts to look. See, this is a little messy. It is not super perfect, but that's not a bad flower, huh? Then I'm going to go in, and here in the middle, I'm going to make just a little bit of a circle just to define the middle of my flower. And there you go, that's it. Okay, down here, instead of a flower, I'm just gonna do just some leaves. So just a few leaves. And I'm gonna add a few more leaves over here. Maybe one right here. Okay. Got one more flower that I'm going to do down here. So I'm going to start with my back row petals. I'm working my way around. Just those simple, easy comma strokes. Again, there's going to be when this video is done, I'm going to link a post that I've written that shares some more of these steps. And if you're watching and you have questions, even if you're not watching live, you can ask questions in the comment section and I'll come back and do my best to answer them. There's the outside of my flower. And now I'm going to just layer in. Another set of inside petals. Filling that in. And then go with my circle. And there we go. That little section is done. So um, as it dries, some of the white is going to get um, a little bit more um, translucent. You're going to be able to see through it. I may come back and add a few um, just, you know, little little strip lines to the middle of my leaves, maybe just to add a little bit of detail. But it's best to let kind of your first layer dry um, and then see what happens after that. So that was not complicated, was it? Um, 
again, like most anything that you're working on, it really comes together in the end. So as you're painting and you think this looks kind of crummy, keep at it. Um, and I, I always do my hand painting before I distress. So once I get done with all of this, I'm going to run some sandpaper over the whole thing and it's going to make it look cracked and aged. It's not going to look like some brand new painted design. And then I'm going to seal it with a nice coat of furniture wax because this is the milk paint that you have to put some wax on. Um, another thing that you can try doing, if you, if even this is a little bit intimidating for you, try just some geometric designs. Um, I'll post some pictures of a couple pieces that I've done like that where I haven't done any floral, but I've just done lines, um, made kind of a geometric design and then accent with some dots. That is super, super easy. And I tell you, these pieces always sell for me. I know they may not be for everybody, but um, they are unique. They look different. Um, it's going to be different than what other people have for sale. Um, or if you're painting it for yourself, you're going to be able um, to tell people when they walk in and see your beautiful piece of furniture, look at what I did. So um, give it a try. I hope that, that maybe some of you try out hand painting. And thanks for joining me today. I'm going to keep working on this and say bye for now. And I'll talk to everyone later. Again, ask comments, um, questions in the comment section if you have any, and I'll, I'll come back and answer. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.